All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're going to react to David Lin. He's a pastor and a street preacher from Toronto, Canada. And this video is titled, Do Muslims Know What They're Talking About Concerning Jesus? All right, let's check out the video and see who knows more about Jesus, the Muslims or the Christian. Guys, before we do so, if you like my content, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check out the links in the description box below to further support. And now, with no further ado, let's have a look. Okay, you got me a track. Jesus love Muslim. Muslims love Jesus. Did, did you, oh, no, I, I never said you. Don't, I don't even know you. My name is David, okay? I'm not going to shake your hand. I respect you. What's your name? Thank you, thank you, thank you. What's your Zara, name? Zara. Zara. Okay, wonderful, beautiful name. Yeah, thank you. All right. So yeah, yeah. I don't hate you. Uh, I mean, I but but, but what, one thing I do, one, one thing I want to let you know, yeah. is the only answer to our soul is Jesus. And I'll tell you why. He's. The How can Messiah. people be so fake, man? We, we believe that. Such a weird behavior. He's the Messiah. The Messiah, yeah. What does that mean to you? He's not the Son of God. He's a prophet. No, forget about Son of God. What does the word Messiah mean? He, he, he was created by by without the prophet. Okay, fine. Okay, what she does doesn't know Messiah much mean? about the terminology. That's back. fine. You know that no, that's not what it means. What does the word Messiah mean? No, it doesn't mean Savior. Depends the who you're asking, right? When we're talking about the term Messiah, we of course have to understand where it comes from. It comes from the Jews ultimately, Mashiach, and the Jews believe that the Messiah will be a political leader, a king of sorts that will rule over Israel. This was the Messiah. This was supposed to be the Messiah. Never did the Jews claim that the Messiah has to be the Son of God, or that the Messiah has to be sacrificed for our sins. He, he, he was created by, by without the prophet. Okay, fine. But what does the word Messiah mean? He's coming back. You know that Messiah? No, that's not what it means. What does the word Messiah mean? No, it doesn't mean Savior. What does the word Messiah mean? Messiah, Savior. He doesn't even know that. You see, you I'm have... you. No, you said you believe in Jesus as the Messiah, but you don't even know what the word Messiah means. I, I know, I know, I'm telling you. Okay, tell me, what does it mean? Yeah, he's, he he born without the father, so he's coming back. So that's what the word Messiah means? No, that's means. not yeah, what the word Messiah so means. As I said, in the dictionary. Messiah, from a Jewish context, no, no, means somebody that will, will rule you, over Israel. But I just wanted to know if you knew, because you said you you gave me, you have this track, Jesus, a prophet of God. Do you know the name, the meaning of the name Jesus? Yeah. What is the meaning of the name Jesus? Isa, we call Isa. Okay, what is the name, meaning of the name Isa? Isa in the name. Hey. I'm really curious to see where he will take this. Of course, he will give you the Christian interpretation. Anyways, the Jewish interpretation would be, of course, first and foremost, that Jesus is Yeshua. Yeshua is the Jewish terminology for Jesus. And within that context, Yeshua means that Yahweh saves. So essentially, it's a name that glorifies God. Similar to Abdullah, Abdullah would be servant of Allah. The same applies to Yeshua. The name does not mean Jesus is God. He's a prophet of God. Do you know the name, the meaning of the name Jesus? Yeah. What is the meaning of the name Jesus? Isa, we call Isa. Okay, what is the name, meaning of the name Isa? Isa is a name. name. It's we a call, name, but yeah. it has a meaning. So what does it mean? Okay, the name the name the name Muhammad. What does that mean? What does the name Muhammad mean? It means praised one. Okay, what does the name Jesus mean? It's a name. Your name. Oh yeah, but every name has a meaning. Yeah, just say you don't know the meaning, lady. It's fine. Yeah, I know. My name's David. It means beloved. Right. The name Jesus. You know. You know what the name Jesus means? Well, you tried. I mean, I'm talking knowledge. I mean, you're not telling me. Okay, you tell me what the name Jesus means. You said you tried. What does the name mean? Jesus mean? He controls the whole conversation. Okay, what does the name Yeshua mean? It's a proper name. Not all proper names are supposed to have a meaning. No, it actually does have a meaning. You told me. Yeah, it means Savior. It means Yahweh saves. That's what it means. That's the meaning. Yeah, okay. (laughs) Yeah, he clearly got caught lying there because he claims that it means that Jesus is the Savior, even though in the end he says Yahweh saves. It does not mean the Savior. It means Yahweh. Yahweh is the Savior. God is the Savior. It does not mean Jesus is the Savior. The only reason why you phrase it that way is because he presupposes that Jesus is God. However, as a standalone, the name Yeshua does not mean it. It simply means that Yahweh saves. God saves, not Jesus. So get, wait, wait, sister, sister, sister. Come here, come here for a second. You don't want to be 
he just, I just He's answered so him fake, and I wanted man. to answer you. So, no, no, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. I don't think you're Islam, but if you are. I'm, she's my mother in Islam. In, in Islam, okay. Every woman's your mother. Yeah, she doesn't have to know. Marry your mother too? She doesn't, she doesn't have to know everything. Marry him? Yeah. Okay. Good. So the meaning of, okay. That's fine. No, no, no. That's fine. No, but bro, why are you getting agitated? I get it. Yeah, because you are ambushing her with questions that she doesn't have an answer to. What's the point if she doesn't know? What is this insecurity coming, man? Because you don't want me to talk, right? Yes, what do you mean exactly. I don't want you to talk? Talk, here, here. Go ahead, go ahead. What, do you know the meaning of the name Jesus? Uh, again, let me see what I want to say. If you ask okay, question, answer this, and then you can say what it... He doesn't okay. want me to talk. You're not even answering my question. Let me answer the way okay, I want okay, to answer. the way you want to answer. Okay. If she doesn't know the meaning of one word or two words, it doesn't make her a Muslim. You're right. You don't know I never right? said that. Did I say that? Yeah. yeah I said she's not Muslim for not meaning knowing finish. the meaning of a name. Okay, again, you're not allowing me to finish. He's trying to trick people, people with it words. Just the it's stupid. Mode it's just a fucking TikTok, man in a tracksuit yelling into a speaker. He has control of the corner. If she doesn't know what it means, Isa, it doesn't make her not Muslim. So don't pressure people because you don't know all the words in the world, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I want to say. So leave her, like, you don't uh, uh, use your knowledge. If you don't want extra words, it doesn't mean make you knowledge or more than him. Exactly. You. Are you gonna, can yeah, I yeah, answer? I'm can gonna, I reply yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, he's so using word games. The reason and he's why lying. this is very important is because the meaning of the name Jesus, the meaning of the name Messiah is, is a foundational to believing in him or in the right version of who that person is. A lot of different Jesuses. Islamic nope, Jesus not correct. Jesus is Yet again, it only means what it means if you take the Christian interpretation. But if you go back into the Jewish interpretation, into the origin of the name Messiah, then you see that it does not mean what you think or what you would like to believe it means. It does not mean that Jesus is the Savior. It does not mean that Jesus is God either. Messiah simply means the anointed one, the ruler of Israel, the king of Israel. It is somewhat of a political, spiritual position, but it has nothing to do with the Jesus of Christianity. There's an Islamic Jesus, there's a Jewish Jesus, and there's a Christian Jesus. Exactly. Muslim Why is Jesus yours did right? not die on a cross to most Muslims. Yeah. Maybe to Ahmadiyyas, but, or, or, or maybe another sect, but most sects don't. The Jewish Jesus is not even the, the Messiah or a prophet. He's, he's a false prophet. Okay, the Christian Jesus is the Messiah. Now you say you believe in the Messiah. That is not correct. Again, he's absolutely lying. In Islam, Jesus is the Messiah, but he is the real Messiah that the Jews were waiting for in the truest sense of the word. In Islam, he is the Messiah, the prophet that has been sent to the children of Israel not God, not him as salvation. This is not what Jesus claimed, nor is it what the Jews were waiting for. It's important that you know what that means to be a Messiah. He's the only person in the Quran with a last name called Messiah. There's no other person in the Quran. Yes, because we believe in him as attached. the Messiah. We see Muhammad, we see, not Mahur, as God. we see Musa, we see all of the other, but only Jesus has a last name. So I think it's very yeah. important to understand because he will why return. is he called the Messiah? And because he's the Messiah. Why not Muhammad? So you need to know because the meaning Muhammad of the name Messiah. Because Muhammad, nor Moses, so do you is know the Messiah. the meaning of the name Messiah? Again, thank you for your... Do you understand? Yeah, no, no. It's, it may be important for you, but not be important for me. She might not know everything about uh, about the Islam. Again, it's because you're a Muslim, uh, you're a Christian, so everything goes about uh, Jesus, peace be upon him and everything. So you need to know what Messiah means, meet God in everything. For us, not really necessary, not every, we are common people, we don't know. It's unfortunate he doesn't have knowledge like either. As I said, the Messiah is very, very easily explained. It does not entail that he is God. But most Christians don't know anything about the Bible, not even one verse. So if you ask her about Jesus, it's important for you as it's important for us. But I don't need to know what Isa mean or Messiah mean. Like, uh, um, me, me, thank you. you can tell me, go and learn it. That's fine. But I don't have to know. It's not a, a core thing for me to learn, to be a Muslim, to know what Messiah means. Right? Okay. Okay. That's okay. So, so instead of instead of trying to take tech, uh, I, you, in, our, in our university uh, setting, we call it plagiarism. Instead of taking texts from Christianity and talking about Jesus when that's my religion. This, this lady came up telling me about Jesus and she don't know about Jesus. So if you're going to come and tell me about Jesus, you better know what you're talking about because you're talking to a Christian. Fair so enough. I don't know why you came with telling me about Jesus and you don't know about Jesus. 
So she came to me with that. I, I didn't call her out. So so here's oh, I'm, I listened to you. I listened to you. I, I saw you. No, no. She did not call yeah, no, oh, okay. anything about you. But who the okay. fuck are you? No, 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 no. Okay. Can we use this word? Okay. Okay. Listen to me. She did not come tell you about Jesus. You know how you notice how you notice how demonic things work together. You are a deceiver. Everyone I'm a deceiver. How am I a deceiver? Demonic things work together. So there you see how brainwashed this guy is. And yes, he is an absolute deceiver. He is an absolute vile human being because the man on the right, the Muslim, he clearly said, hey, listen, don't use words as such here. We are Muslim. The other guy, the random bystander said the F word, right? So the Muslim clearly says, hey, we're not using such terminology here. We are Muslims. Then the preacher says, ha, do you see how those demonic things always go hand in hand? The vulgar bystander was addressing you, David Lynn. You with your nonsense. You're trying to deceive people. You're talking to people with less knowledge and you're using Christian terminology in order to explain your doctrine. But that is not objective whatsoever and this is why he has to resort to lying. You notice how demonic things work together? You are a deceiver. You know, I'm a deceiver. deceiver. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, I'm a deceiver. She did not come tell you anything. In the Quran it says Allah is the deceiver. Okay, here He's you the greatest to... deceiver. Doesn't I, I it say that? You can choose Doesn't it say that? Any yeah, person exactly. Person. You said I'm a deceiver. Wait, yeah, of course. How am I a deceiver? Because she, did it, she did not come and tell you anything about Did you me. not come and walk you? You deceive with Yeshua's name already. You deceive with the terminology of the Messiah, what it really Jesus. means. Jesus, the prophet of God. You yes. came to tell That's me what the Jesus. Bible says deceiver. as well. You to read this? What's the problem with that? There's nothing wrong with This is so extremely ridiculous. Let's read in the Bible. Luke 24, 19. What things, he asked about Jesus of Nazareth. They replied, he was a prophet, powerful in word and deed before God and all the people. Matthew 21, 11. The crowds answered, this is Jesus, the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. John 4, 19. Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Matthew 21, 46. They looked for a way to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowd because the people held that he was a prophet. So there you have it, David. The lady is just confirming what your Bible claims. About Jesus, what does it say? Jesus, the prophet of God. You came to tell me about Jesus. How am I a deceiver? He's telling you to read this. What's the problem with that? There's nothing wrong with that. But if you're going to come tell me to read about Jesus, you should know about Jesus. Did you read what you're giving me? You should read it. Here. You read it. Prophet of God. Why are you lying? Okay, good. So if he's yeah, a prophet again. of God, do you know the meaning of the name Jesus? Do you know the meaning of the Messiah? What does so it matter? you're going to plagiarize things about the, the, my Savior. How is it plagiarized? That's literally the right what the Bible context. says. Maybe you should just humble yourself and a Christian can teach you. I'm not trying to deceive you. I'm not telling you about Muhammad. I'm telling you about Jesus. You're just using I'm telling you, Islam. Jesus. Is, no, I'm not using yeah, Islam. Yeah. We're talking about we're talking about the land of Israel. You Come just on, man. In, man. You Come came on, out of man. Nowhere, bro. See what a lie. Oh man, yes, you're, she you're came always and said, trying to bash me. Islam. Stop lying. Did you not come and yell at me? Good. So she's admitting it. Who's the deceiver? You're the deceiver. This lady's admitting she yelled at me first, and she came to me with a track. And I'm like, yo, do you even know the meaning of the name Jesus? You don't even know. You're coming with a Jesus track. I'm a liar. No, you're the liar, bro. You're doing taquilla right now, bro. You're just jumping every fence, man, telling me, okay, why am I a deceiver now? I already proved you wrong. I'm a deceiver. Anyway. You didn't prove anything bro, wrong, basically. To you just said that the lady doesn't know what know. Yeshua means. Okay. Alright, that's it this is for today's video. I'm going to cut it off here. It's not really worth watching any further. Unfortunately, the Muslims in this video had no knowledge either, so therefore they couldn't debunk his points, even though his points are absolutely laughable and easy to debunk, starting with the name Yeshua, which simply means Yahweh is salvation and not Jesus is salvation. It only is salvation within their own minds because they believe that Jesus is Yahweh. However, no Jew ever believed that and moreover, no Jew ever believed that the Messiah will be Yahweh. Astaghfirullah. Nobody ever believed that when the Messiah comes, he will become God or he is God incarnate, etc., etc., you name it. The Messiah should have been a king of Israel, a ruler of Israel, a just ruler, a just king. It has nothing to do with the Christian view. And ultimately, hey man, the guy is a preacher. He is a Christian preacher. He's brainwashed. He's not looking into finding 
the truth. He simply wants to evangelize, preach to people, and recruit people for his religion. However, he's not looking for the truth, and this is why he uses deception, and this is why he is lying. Not only about the names and the terminology, but he's lying, of course, about him not attacking Islam. Of course, he has video after video on YouTube where he attacks Islam, how he calls Islam demonic. Yes, he believes it's demonic if you worship God alone. <laughs> it's only not demonic if you pray to a man. Yeah, this makes absolute sense. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Check out the links in the description box to further support my work. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace. <laughs> Oh